What you doing, Odin? Are you watering your garden with the rainwater in your wheelbarrow? Oh, now you're going to weed it? Good job. Yeah, use the shovel so you can put some water on your plants. What a good gardener. You're a nice helper. You like that, huh? That was a good birthday present. Oh, pour it out. All gone. Go get some mulch. Is that a sheep? What does the sheep say? Bah! I don't think that's what the sheep says, Liam. <laughs> the babies got upgraded. To one of our old chicken tractors that we did some repairs to and they are going to grow out in here until they're ready for the big girl pen they're looking really good understand what's happening right now. I have begged these goats to eat this thistle forever. And they are eating it like crazy all of a sudden right now. They just, all of them were over here just devouring it. What made them suddenly decide this was a treat when I couldn't get them to eat it before? And they're eating like the leaves, not even, I, like part of me wanted to say, well, maybe it's the flower buds. Nope, they're eating the leaves. Crazy. I've never seen them do this. They've never eaten this. Oh my goodness. I come over here for one second and you guys all have to come and see me. <laughs> Sweet babies. Oh my goodness. What is that? Mommy, you're blocking. Can you see right behind Mama's head? Just barely make it out. Mama, let me see. Oh, the other mama's hissing at me. Do you have one on your back too? They got babies! They're not leaving the nest yet, so I don't want to bother them to let the others hatch. So I'm staying from a distance. Yeah. Don't want to bother those babies. Congratulations, Mama! What, Tabitha? Are you trying to check out those baby ducks, too? You can't, you can't play with the baby ducks, okay, sweet girl? Okay. You let them be. Pretty girl. And 
just as the first batch of ducks are hatching, we have another Muscovy that's gone broody. I have a feeling we're gonna really enjoy a lot of baby ducklings this year. And I am totally here for it. In fact, that's one of the primary reasons why I wanted Muscovy. Because they make great mothers, they go broody easy, and they make some pretty excellent babies. Speaking of excellent babies, the teenage chicks are out here in their new chicken tractor, living large and loving life. It's time for them to move the chicken tractor to another green area for them to forage. They are really growing out nicely. And I'm beginning to believe that this girl right here is actually sitting on unfertile eggs. And I don't know what to do about it. I think I'm going to try to... I don't know. She's pretty vicious. She like attacks me if I go in this shelter with her. And I don't want to upset her. But in the same breath, she's been on this nest longer than the Muscovy. So they absolutely should have hatched if they were fertile. So we'll see. I'm going to give her a few more days. She won't even let me put water by her. She attacks me when I do that. y'all they finally took them off the nest one two three four five six seven there's at least seven babies oh they are so cute there's nothing in the world cuter than a baby duck you can't convince me otherwise cuter than baby goats cuter than baby chicks cuter cuter than anything oh my gosh i hope that mama keeps them safe oh I'm going to go check the nest and evaluate if any of the other eggs have the ability to be hatched in the incubator or if they're just done. Oh, precious, precious. Alright, there's definitely some eggs in there still, so I'm going to grab those and I will bring them in and candle them, see if there's anything in there. Ryan told me at feeding time she gets off the nest so I am going to check to see what's going on in here because I don't think she's got babies gonna be happening in here so I'm gonna candle these real quick while she's gone yeah I can already see that one looks like it's rotten it's got black spots on its shell all right there were nine rotten eggs in there and one that made it and I'm pretty sure it's a Muscovy so it looks like it's just about to hatch. I could see the duck moving like bah, 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 inside the shell. So I couldn't see these. So I'm going to bring them in so I can see them better and be able to tell if they are 
viable or not stick them in the incubator if they are actually scratch that i'll stick them back in that one crazy duck's nest and let her have them if they haven't hatched yet <laughs> You ready? Back up. Watch your head. Good girls. Good girls. You like being out here during the day? The lammies are in with the goats during the day. And then at feeding time, they go back into their little house area where they can eat separate food and not get bullied on their grain and they get their own minerals and they get to sleep in a nice little shelter that they like without having to compete with goats. So the goats haven't quite like accepted them so much but they tolerate them so it's all good and they love it out here. Boy did they do a number on this thistle. I. I've never seen them do this. So weird. So weird. Random. This Lashes has been eating all the tall grass for everyone. She's doing a good job of eating the seed heads off. I don't know if you can tell, but all this tall grass had seed heads. And she ate all of the seed heads off of this tall grass. Which is good, because it's not the kind of grass that the goats like. So I didn't want it to reseed. But she likes it. If I could just get her to stay in the fence that her mama stays in, she could go out with her and have even more. What are you doing? I know those flies are a pain. We've been doing fly treatments, but it is not making a difference this time of year. It's just crazy fly season. Poor babies. Get some more of that natural spray and spray it on your legs. Yeah. Pretty girl going to be talking to the AI person about getting some straws for these cows. Autumn. Hi baby girl. You always had to follow me out here, huh? You're still my baby. Always going to be my baby. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, ladies. How are you today? So if anybody is local to the Carrollton, Georgia area and is interested in pullets, Hit me up. Got a few I'm willing to part with. Got a lot of babies. I'm really liking this interaction right here. We've got the chickens lined up looking at the chicks. We've got the chicks lined up looking at the chickens. This will help with the integration, having them nearby and hearing each other's sounds will really make a big difference. And the big silver apple yard drake is just here for decoration. He doesn't really serve a purpose, but he's cute. So, that's cute. That's not true, he serves a purpose. He's pest control. Hello, mama. I'm not coming in. I'm hoping to see you out today with a little duckling. So the rest of her eggs were rotten and she had one Muscovy egg that I had put under her when it had fallen out of the Muscovy nest. So she is hopefully going to have one baby duckling that gets her out of being broody because she is the meanest broody duck I have ever, ever encountered. Do you have a baby under you? It should have hatched by now, I thought. Oh, she's making little baby sounds, maybe. I don't know. We'll know soon enough and she's ready to come off the nest. I'm giving you your space, girl. Loving these beautiful new celadon quail that we hatched out. I've been hearing ro rooster crowing, so any day now I expect to see some beautiful blue eggs being laid. They are beautiful colorations. I've figured out that I have to keep the dark ones separated from the light or they peck on the head of the light one. So I've got them all separated now. Everybody's healed up and doing good. We'll have beautiful eggs any day now. Here's our next size of chicks that we have available. Beautiful, beautiful babies. The white ones are not 
available because they are the ones that I'm keeping. They're going to be our white Americanas that lay a beautiful blue egg. I just moved these guys out here to the grass and they just don't know what to do with themselves yet. But they don't need the heat anymore with the temperatures that we're having. So I do have an emergency light. If we do have like a cold snap, I can cover the whole thing with a tarp and plug it in and keep them warm if I need to. But they shouldn't need it anymore with our Georgia weather. This summer is here to stay. So our beautiful mixed flock of roses, rainbow eggers, has some turkey necks in it. And I'm loving seeing those come out when they hatch. They're so adorable. And we're having green, blue, olive, cream, pink, brown, all the different colored eggs are what we're aiming for in our hatching. So we're ending up with even more color in our eggs than we've ever had. And this is something that we had done in the past. And about six years ago, we had raccoons take most of our flock. So this breeding line that we've been working on, we've been working on for six years or more actually. But it's, I guess it was six years when we moved here. So that's eight years. So we have definitely put in a lot of work on this. We've got Americana, we've got Cream Leg Bar, we've got Marans, we've got Rhode Island Red, we've got Easter Eggers, and a few other random birds mixed in sometimes. But those are the main ones that our flock are derived from. Mainly my goal all along is to have a beautiful, colorful egg basket. It's amazing when your plant holding area has raspberries that have taken over to the point that even in pots, I'm getting that many raspberries. We have got to get these in the ground. <laughs> Imagine the abundance next year. Chicks moved. So now I need to get the ones from the inside brooder. Yes, that's right. You heard me right. We have more chicks inside. So the ones in the small inside brooder are going to be upgraded to the crib brooder. I just have to get that cleaned out. I'm probably going to have to have Ryan help me with that because it's a little bit heavy and I have to flip it over to get the bedding out. So, because it's, it's, it's after being in there for a while, we do a deep litter with that brooder where we layer more pine shavings on top and now it's ready to be dumped so we'll do that and get those new babies out and hopefully get some of these chicks sold You just want love. You just want love. Sweet boy. You know I love you, right? Right, Basil? <laughs>